Hi guys, Jason from Thrive Endurance. We're just down at the beach today and we're talking open water swimming. And in particular, the entry and exit of swim open water races from beach starts. So when we look at a beach start on a swim race, we want to look at the most effective way to get into the water, an efficient way and the fastest way to get in there and out in front of the rest of our competitors. So depending on the depth of the water, usually the most effective and fastest way to get in is to run as fast as far as what we can in the water, lifting our legs as high as possible, and then two, dolphin diving for as long as we possibly can, and then three, then start swimming. If we actually turn up to a swim race and we get there early and we have a look at what the elite men do, the pro men do, even the top age groupers and the ways before us, it's really good to get down there and see because you will see the front guys, how many steps they take before they'll dolphin dive, how many dolphin dives they'll take before they'll swim, and you'll see the difference between the guys that are good at it and run a long way and dolphin dive a long way compared to the guys who just get in and jump in and start swimming. You know, you could end up getting in 15, 20, 30 metres sometimes into the water, depends on the depth of the water, before you need to start swimming. And if that means if someone starts swimming early, you could potentially double your gap at that swim start. So what are the two effective drills that we need to work on to make this all happen? So the first one that we're going to look at today is running in the water. So first of all, I'd just say, just get down to the beach, you know, like here, just run along the side and just see how deep you can get into the water before you can't run any further. And there's two ways. One is when we run, is to run with our legs like this out of the water as high as what we possibly can. And the other way is, is to go is to skip through the water with your legs up and high. So usually the first one when you're entering, like the swim start, you use this option because you're a little bit fresher. When you stand up from the swim exit, you might like to do the skip option to get up and over because your heart rate seems to stand up is going through the roof. So let's just go and have a look at running in the water and see you know, the skills that you need to work on. don't want to do when we're dolphin diving is just jump down and up, jump down and up because that's not efficient. It's when you are gliding through the water in a long, that is when you are going the fastest. Gliding is faster than moving, jumping in and out of the water. So don't rush it, jump, glide and go long. down and we can touch the bottom of the floor you can pretty much be sure that you can jump and jump up and dive again it's a really good indicator of once it gets too deep you can't touch the bottom so then you just start swimming so if you jump and you touch the bottom of the floor with your hands grab the floor push through up again and jump and dive again until you can't touch the floor anymore so now we've worked on these two skills together we put them together into one drill entering the water so now we're just going to work on just running for as far as we can lift our legs as high as we can and then dolphin dive as many times as we can until we can't touch the bottom anymore and then we start swimming and away we go and that's generally going to get you the furthest way out in front of the water and if you do it, get really good at it, you will end up being one of the first one or two, three age groupers out in the front, even if you're not the strongest swimmer. that we look 
looking at today is the swim exit. So the swim exit is the exact same, just in reverse order. So once we're coming in, what you'll see is a lot of people, they stand up too early when the water's around their waist and they try and push their way through the water. That is the slowest and most inefficient way to get out of the water. So what we want to do is we want to swim for as far as we can until when we, we can start to see the bottom of the water. If we put our hand down and we can touch the floor, that's when you are going to be at about this depth where you can start doing your dolphin dive. So the first thing you want to do is stand up and if your water's below, above your knees and in between your hips, start dolphin diving. If it's not, if you stand up and it's above your waist, jump back in and start swimming again. Once you can dolphin dive, dolphin dive until you stand up and the water's above your knees. And that's when you'll get that skip up out of the water for the first one or two and then run back in to shore. So there are your two ways to get in and out of the water, the most effective, effective and efficient way.